All right, Excel students, just want to go over a point on Excel 2 TAC 2 that probably about half the class uh, made a mistake on. Uh, other than that, I mean, this was a really great week. Um, I, I think that a lot of you are becoming more confident in Excel and starting to feel more comfortable with the program. So objective 2 TAC 2, our practice task, down at the bottom, it says format cell K10 to display its contents as currency with a U.S. dollar symbol. So Perfect. Pretty much everybody got that part correct. However, uh, that says then apply the same formatting to cells K11 through K23. So a couple different ways to do that. The, by far the best way if you want to copy formatting is use your format painter. So we already formatted cell K10. So this is going to be our reference cell. So we click on it and then we go up to the top left and we have format painter. We're going to click on it. And then we're going to click and drag to the cells we want. So in this case, I'm selecting cell K11 through K23. Boom. And there we go. So now everything has the exact same formatting as our reference cell K10. So I want to take a look at this week, Excel 2 TAC 3, this objective. We're talking about using the max function. Now, the max function is really useful if you have a large set of data and you need to find the highest value in that set. Um, now, this example isn't that big, and you can probably look at it and figure out, oh, well, it's, it's this one right here. But if you had hundreds or even thousands of rows of data, uh, this is an incredibly useful function. Where students in the past will lose points on this is they won't select quarterly sales. Now, what I mean for this, B2 through E5 is already labeled as quarterly sales. So when you type in your formula, it can be max quarterly sales, just like that. It'll get you the result. Now, what will get you the exact same result, however, you would lose points, is max B2 through E5. They're the same data range, but we have different labels for them. So pay attention for that. Even though you get the same result, this is something that we are looking very closely at this week because we want to make sure we use the range named quarterly sales. So like I said before, you guys are doing awesome. I know early on in the class, some people were a little hesitant, maybe not as familiar with Excel. I think all of you are becoming more confident and better in this program. Best of luck this week. And as always, if you have any questions, please, please reach out and let me know.